Hey, Paul Carter here with paulcartervoiceover.com and paulcartervoiceovertraining.com. Today, I want to walk with you through the demo recording process. There are numerous steps to the demo recording process, and I want to walk through each step with you so that you'll have a good understanding that when you get to the point to record your own demo, you'll know what I or another demo producer is going to do with you and for you. So let's head over to my vocal booth where I always do my recording and my multi-track session mixing. What do you love? Is it time with the family? Or time at the beach? Or just wasting time? Whatever you love, Sandals Resorts has it available in abundance. What do you love? Is it time with the family? Is it time with the family? Or time at the beach? Or just wasting time? Whatever you love, Sandals Resorts has it available in abundance. What do you love? Is it time with the family? Or time at the beach? Or just wasting time? Whatever you love, Sandals Resorts has it available in abundance. What do you love? Is it time with the family? Or time at the beach? Or just wasting time? Whatever you love, Sandals Resorts has it available in abundance. What do you love? Is it time with the family? Or time at the beach? Or just wasting time? Whatever you... What do you love? Is it... Is it time with the family? Or time at the beach? Or, or just wasting You love. Is it time with the family? Or time at the beach? Or just waste. So what I did there, I basically I pulled down some of the uh, the peaks, the highs, the the the, the things that are um, uh, spiking out there. When you go to do a normalization, you want to have your peaks at, at you know relatively the same levels, so that when you, you actually normalize, it's not going to do a wonky file on you. Not going to not going to do a wonky normalization. So. Uh, additionally, here I'm adding in some isotope effects. This is an isotope uh, declick, uh, decrackle, and a denoise as well. I love the isotope effects. They uh, they leave no noticeable trace as to what they've done to your file. A unless you go crazy and are really you know hitting the effect hard, it's going to only do what it needs to do to take out the effects, to take out the, the bad stuff. Uh, here's uh, I'm going to show you the the, uh, the declick. That's what it looks like. And again, if you notice, I'm only doing a very small amount on the sensitivity. And this is uh, the, the D crackle. And again, very, very small strength and very, very amplitude, small amplitude skew. And so what that does is that just takes out the bad stuff and leaves an incredible great sound. What do you love? Is it time with the family? Or time at the beach? Or just wasting time? Okay, so now I'm going to bring up Pro Tools, and this is uh, the multi-track session recording tool that I use for, for recording sessions. Um, I can, you know, of course, use Adobe. It has its own multi-track there. I, I don't typically like using it. It's just for some reason it doesn't feel right to me. It works fine. I mean, it, it's a good tool. There's nothing wrong with it. But for me, the flow works better in Pro Tools. I use Pro Tools mainly for when I am recording, uh, you know, multi-track session only where the – I are where I already have the music recorded and, um, you know, I'm just uh, dragging files in. For me, it works as a multi-track session, almost like you're working with a real soundboard, with a real audio mixer. Uh, so it feels good to me that way. Um, I love using Logic Pro X as well when I am recording uh, or needing to record uh, like a uh, music composition when I need to put together my own music bed or, or my own uh, specific sounds that I, I can pull in because Logic Pro has tons of tools to, to do that with. So uh, it depends on what I need right now. I believe that I have everything I need in place as far as the, the music goes and, and, and uh, the other files that I have. So I'm open Pro Tools, drag everything into there.
So once you have your session open, uh, there are multiple ways you can drag your files in. You can go to File and uh, Import and say, you know, Audio. That, that's one way to do it. I typically uh, have uh, my, my file finder open, and I just go and drag that information from, or th those files from the, the folder that I'm using into the, uh, the session. So here's my, my music bed. I'll go ahead and drag that in. And I have my vocal only. It's my voiceover. And right now, those are the only files that I'm actually adding in to, to, uh, into the multitrack session at the moment. So once you have the files in place, the next step you need to do is start getting a basic arrangement out of, out of uh, what you're doing. I'm going to mute the vocal and take a listen to the music bed to find out where I want the music to start. Okay, I got a general idea where I want to start. I know I wanted to start in the middle of the song where the music is low and it's just got the triangle and, and a little bit of percussion going on. So that's about it, but I don't know exactly how much of that I need. So I need to bring up my vocal and start getting an idea about how long it's, you know, the, the timing between the two. So let me go ahead and um, I'm gonna adjust the music bed down a bit until it's just the part I want and see exactly how much I'm going to need to get it moving here. Is it time with the family? Or time at the beach? Or just wasting time? Whatever you love, Sandals Resorts has it available in abundance. Okay, so I know generally speaking how long... I've got four or five different recordings, as you heard earlier, of the vocal clip here. I, they're all generally the same length. So um, I want the... I want the uh, the upbeat portion. Time with the family, or time at the beach. That started just with on the very last portion of the music, of, of the voiceover. Whatever you love, sandals right about there. So I got a general idea now about where I need it to be. So let me go, go ahead and start editing down this here, the, the the music. Go ahead and zoom in a bit more. What do you love? Is it time with the family? Or time at the beach? Or just wasting time? So it got a little too much, so let's add a little back in. What do you love? Is it time with the family? Or time at the beach? Or just wasting time? Whatever you love, Sandals Resorts has it available in abundance. That's near perfect. So I know I'll leave the music there for a moment. I won't do too much more with it at the moment. Again, this is just general kind of a block cutting, chopping down to get closer to where I need to be. So let me go ahead and split the vocal into each of the individual tracks to, so I can be able to, to you know, solo them separately and, uh, you know, review them and, and uh, audition them to see how they sound. Okay, now I've got them all. Now I've got them all down into their separate files. Let, let's let's take a let's kind of review and audition each one to see how they sound. I'm gonna start with the second one. What do you love? Is it time with a family? Is it time with a family? Okay, gotta edit that down a little bit because I had a uh, double take there. wasn't sure which one I was gonna do, and I do like the second one now. So let's go ahead and edit that one in place here. Is it? What do you love? Is it time with the family? Or time at the beach? Or just wasting time? Whatever you love, Sandals Resorts has it available in abundance. Okay, that one's good too. Let's go to the third one. What do you love? Is it time with the family? Or time at the beach? Or just wasting time? Whatever you love, Sandals Resorts has it available in abundance. That's a little fast. I'm going to have to split that one down a little bit, but that's not bad either. And the, and the final one. What do you love? Is it time with the family? Or time at the beach? Or just wasting time? Whatever you love, Sandals Resorts has it available in abundance. 
you know, I, I didn't think I liked that one at first, but actually, uh, by the time it got to the end of, of the of the voice, that was really not too bad. So we'll hold that one in place. Um, I'm not sure which one are my favorite yet. Uh, we'll we'll hold that off for a little bit and narrow that down as we move forward here. Okay, so I've narrowed my files down a little bit, and I've, I've shrunk them down. And, and again, I'm doing some block cutting here still to to get it down uh, into manageable, you know, bite-sized chunks, so to speak. So I know the general length now. It's going to be somewhere between uh, you know 12 and 14 seconds. Um, I, I have a general idea of the overall feel that I'm looking for, and I've got the the uh, the music bed in place, and I've got the the vocals ready to go, and and I can audition each one to get an idea of what, where I'm really really getting the feel for. So. Let's go back and do that again, one at a time, and see which one we like, starting with one. What do you love? Is it time with the family? Or time at the beach? Or just wasting time? Whatever you love, Sandals Resorts has it available in abundance. Not bad, let's listen to two. What do you love? Is it time with the family? or time at the beach, or just wasting time. Whatever you love, Sandals Resorts has it available in abundance. I like that one. Uh, you know, the funny thing is, you might find, uh, and it's a good thing why we do multiple takes here, you might find that there's one word or, or a small phrase that you like in one, but you don't like it in the other, but you like the rest of it in the, in the, in the second one. You can do what's called a comp. You can do a vocal comp. Uh, you, you, uh, Take out different parts of it, add them together to make one file. Let's let's see how that works. I think I like the beginning of vocal one. What do you love? See, I like that one. Let's listen to two again. What do you love? That's really not bad either. Let's listen to three real fast to see. Make, I want to be sure I'm not, you know, getting too fancied on one that, that over another. What do you love? Is it? I don't like. What do you love? Not sure I like that one. What do you love? Is it time with the family or time at the beach? or just wasting time. So I need to split this one out a little bit. Let me go ahead and do that while I'm thinking about it, you know, because the, the timing was definitely a bit faster on this one. Let's go ahead and do that. Cut out the breath. Now let's see where we're at here. What do you love? Is it time with the family? Or time at the beach? Or just wasting time? Whatever you love, Sandals Resorts has it available in abundance. That's not bad. I don't mind that too much. Um, let's go ahead and I need to split them apart just a little bit more. I don't think I mind that one too much, but I'm not sure about it yet. Let's listen to four again. I, I, I'm four is not 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 pulling me in. What do you love? Is it time with the family? Or time at the beach? Or just wasting time? Whatever you love. Okay, now for, uh, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and make a call on four. I'm going to go ahead and uh, make that one inactive, and that way I know that uh, I've not chosen that one. So uh, we'll go ahead and, and narrow it down. So we've got it down to one, two, and three here. Let's listen to one again. What do you love? Is it time with the family? Or time at the beach? Or just wasting time? Whatever you love, Sandals Resorts has it available in abundance. Now here's a trick on this one. See, I'm liking this one, but I'm wondering if the reason I like it so much is because the timing is near perfect on it already without having to make any edits on it. That file is like ready to go. The way that I paced myself when I recorded it is, is like perfect to the recording. Now I have to watch myself and make sure that I'm not overthinking that or, or underthinking it really and taking it just because the timing's good. So I have to really you know, critically listen to these uh, to see which one's actually getting the right vibe and the right feel in, in the vocal style that, I, that I'm using. So let's move on to two again. Actually, let's do three. Let's kind of mix it up a little. What do you love? Is it, you know what? I need to pull the beginning out a little bit. That's what that is. So let me, let me adjust that a little bit. It starts a little fast, so let's try it now. What do you love? Is it time with the family? Or time at the beach? Or just wasting time? Whatever you love, Sand Whatever you love, Sandals Resorts has it available. I'm going to move them all just a little farther. Let's just start a few seconds later. What do you love? Is it... What do you love? Is it time with the family? Or time at the beach? Or just wasting time? Whatever you love, Sandals Resorts has it available in abundance. 
See, I'm starting to like that one. Now, now that I have the timing down right, you know, it's, it's, it's getting the feel that number one already has. So let's try two, see where we're at there. What do you love? It starts a little early. So let me go ahead and, and move, remove the breath on this one, which is something I sometimes do before I get to this level, which is totally fine. I can get to this point and edit it out here as well. So let, let's go try this though. Okay, I deep breathed it. What do you love? Is it time with the family or time at the beach? or just wasting time. Whatever you love, Sandals Resorts has it available in abundance. I gotta tell you, that one's really drawing me in as well. Let me go ahead and deep breath number one here. I don't want to necessarily change the timing on it just yet because I feel like it's good, but let's make sure here. Let's go back and listen to one. What do you love? Is it time with the family or time at the beach or just wasting time? Whatever you love, Sandals Resorts has it available in abundance. So I tell you what, I still like the timing with one. So let me go ahead and try to adjust two and three to get their timing closer to what one is showing here. So let me go ahead and zoom in a bit here. Because I really like the way two and or one's timing is. But uh, two and three are kind of calling out to me a little bit. So, okay, there I think is the timing a little closer. Let's try three again by itself. <clears throat> Whatever you love. What do you love? Is it time with the family? Or time at the beach? Or just wasting time? Whatever you love, Sandals Resorts has it available in abundance. Well, I'm liking three. Let's try two again now that the timing's uh, more close related to, to one. What do you love? Is it time with the family? Or time at the beach? Or just wasting time? Whatever you love. Sandals Resorts has it available in abundance. So here's where you really have to start, you know, uh, deciding what it, what it is that you're looking for with the overall feel. Three has a great excitement in it. You know, it makes you feel good, makes you feel youthful. So, you know, that would be good if the visuals were, a, you know, a young family or even young couples, you know, and it was kind of lively and jumpy. Two, on the other hand, it's a little bit more uh, mellow. It's maybe for the older crowd, you know, the, the, you know, the 30 and 40s, 50s and on up, you know, crowd. Um, the mellow nights, you know, the fun, the, the, the relaxing after the, the long days at work and that kind of thing. Let's Let's listen to one again and see what the feel it's getting, giving us here. What do you love? Is it time with the family? Or time at the beach? Or just wasting time? Whatever you love, Sandals Resorts has it available in abundance. I'm liking it too. Two, number one seems to have a, a feel for both of them. It, it, it seems to encapsulate all of those things, the, the young and vibrant and, and lively kind of, you know, jumpy kind of thing. And then the, the older, more subdued. It's got a little bit of both. I really like this phrase here. Check out this. Or just wasting time. Almost a throwaway. Somehow I got that one just right. You know, I'm not trying to pat myself on the back here. But those are the kind of things you want to look for when you're deciding on what the final style is going to sound like. So we got a good idea where we're at here. I'm, I'm thinking I'm leaning towards number one for, for now. But the great thing is I've got these to go wherever I need to go. So let's go ahead and start uh, winnowing down, start start uh, filing down and, and uh, putting the, the extra shine on these things. Now, the way you do this is first I'm going to start with the music bed. I'm going to fade it in and fade it out at the end. Or just what do you love? Yeah, there we go. What do you love? Okay, to fade into the cursor, you put the cursor about where you want it to go, and in Pro Tools, you hit the letter D, and that shows your fade in to your from from the end, the beginning of the file to your cursor, and G is at the end. So we'll start with this. What do you love? Is it time? I'm not sure I like that. What do you love? Is it time? So there's a little off tempo. So let me do this, give myself a little bit more leg room or, you know, at the beginning here, let's move all the files down a little bit and then lengthen this file from the beginning. What do you love? Is it time with, what do you love? Is it time with the family or time at the beach or just Let's try it one more time? What do you love? Is it what do you love? Let me give myself a little bit more leg room here.
What do you love? Is it time with the family? Or what do you love? Is it time with the family? Like or time at the beach? Listen one more time. What do you love? Is it time with the family? Or time at the beach? Or just wasting time? Whatever you love, Sandals Resorts has it available in abundance. Okay, I'm going to lengthen the end of the file here a little bit just to, just for the fade out only. So there we got the fade out on the end there. What do you love? Is it time with the family? Or time at the beach? Or just wasting time? Whatever you love, Sandals Resorts has it available in abundance. I'm going to lengthen that fade just a little. It's probably not going to matter too much, but I, you know, I, I like to give myself a musical feel, okay, you know, as I'm, as I'm working here. I'm going to fade it out even a little longer here. In abundance. That way, so I've already got it. I, I want it to feel musical to myself from the beginning because musicality in recording your demo and editing and producing your demo is a must. You've got to have that feel that the, the you're you're working all at the same. You're you're like a music producer. You are um, a, a commercial a content creator, an ad, uh, an ad, an advertising. <laughs> Yeah, an advertising executive. Wow, uh, the brain cells aren't clicking tonight. So, but you, you have to think about all these things from all these different angles in order to make sure that you're getting, you know, getting the message across in a commercially viable way. That's really what we're looking for here. So, one, one more listen here. What do you love? Is it time with the family, or time at the beach, or just wasting time? Whatever you love, Sandals Resorts has it available in abundance. Okay, I'm liking that. So uh, here's the thing. I need to go ahead and make an executive decision at this, this point. Um, I, I'm going to listen to two and three one more time, but I think I'm sticking with one. What do you love? Is it time with the family or time at the beach or just wasting time? Whatever you love, Sandals Resorts has it available in abundance. Did I say one? What do you love? Is it time with the family? Or time at the beach? Or just wasting time? Whatever you love, Sandals Resorts has it available in abundance. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and make three inactive. And it's down to one and two. Here's one. What do you love? Is it time with the making the decision right now. One is a little too mellow at the beginning. Let's listen to two again. What do you love? Is it time with the family or time at the beach or just wasting time? Whatever you love, Sandals Resorts has it available in abundance. I'm going with two. This whole time I thought I'd be going with one and I changed my mind. Once I started narrowing it down and started kind of whittling it down, get it, getting the finer details in and, uh, you know, getting the fades in and, and really starting to shine and polish it, two sounded better. It's the, it's the feel. It's the, uh, the eagerness, the, the, you know, oh, I'm, I'm really excited to tell you about sandals. You know, I had that in it more so than one. And that comes across and that sets the tone for the, for the whole, the whole demo. So we're going with two. I'm going to move them together there. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and hide, uh, one, three, and four. I'll go ahead and hide those, and they're, they're out of the picture now. So I've got them out of the way. I don't have to worry about them getting them away anymore. I'm, I'm ready to roll here. So one more time, listen. What do you love? Is it time with the family? Or time at the beach? Or just wasting time? Whatever you love, Sandals Resorts has it available in abundance. I, I feel like I've already got it down into the timing in a, in a really good place here. So now the time is to go ahead and start adding on the secret sauce, all the little tricks and the, and the, the things that you probably, probably may not have ever heard about. And uh, these are things that I've learned over the years and in, in having my own home studio, my own recording studio, recording bands for many, many years, recording my own albums and 
And for the last uh, three years, I've, I've been taking class after class after course after course and, and uh, following incredible producers online, uh, downloading as many, uh, purchasing and downloading as many uh, uh, mix uh, tutorials as I can. And I've just I've learned so much over, over the years from, from some of the greats. Uh, yeah, I mean, they're, they're incredible what these guys can do. And I've learned those and incorporated the things that they've taught me into my demo production. And this is some of the things I'm going to do right now. First off, one of the things you want to do is start with a vocal. So you probably think that uh, it's okay to go ahead and go with one vocal track and, and that's good enough. Sometimes that is the case. Myself, I like to give myself additional opportunities to tweak the sound even more. I actually make two additional copies of the vocal. One that I will edit and bring in a bit of a grittier sound. Another that I will edit and, and a little lower, so kind of the low end sound. And another I will edit and bring in the high sheen sound. And I will intricately sparse those into the, the recording to bring them out at the, at the proper times. So let me show you how I do that. You can go here, right click and duplicate. And you want to duplicate everything in it. And I'm gonna do that one more time. So now I've got two additional tracks, so three total vocal tracks of, of the uh, vocal only. So I'm going to go ahead and start putting in some effects on these. First of all, I'm going to go back to the original vocal by itself. So let me mute the two new ones. The first thing I want to do is to put in an EQ. I want to check exactly how this is looking in my, uh, my analyzer. So I use the Waves F6 here. And I, I just give it a quick playback. This is just this EQ that you're seeing here is just the vocal only. This is not the entire uh, overall mix. What do you love? Is it time with the family or time at the beach or just wasting time? So as you can see right now, the, the analyzer here is actually telling me that my mids are a little bit high. So I'm going to go ahead and drag those down just a bit. I typically go through and also take out the low end up to about 100 uh, hertz, uh, roughly. You know, I, again, a flavor to, to sound. you got to get it the right way. And I also pull down the, 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 the low shelf here and pull it down to about, uh, about a 13 or 12. You know, 12 to 13 uh, hertz there is uh, 13, 13 kilohertz itself. So let's listen again. What do you love? Is it time with the family? Now, what you're wanting to watch here is not the actual bar graph in the back. You're wanting to watch the line graph that's pulling up by itself. That's showing the edited portion of, of the vocal. The, the bar graph in the back is showing the, the, the untreated vocal. The line graph at the bottom is showing the, the uh, EQ uh, curve after it's been treated. Watch it. What do you love? Is it time with the family or time at the beach? or just wasting time. Whatever you love, Sandals Resorts has it available Sorry, in abundance. The line graph is, is showing me that I'm not really peaking above too much on any, and I'm getting a much cleaner sound overall to all, to all these. So that's my main vocal. Let me go ahead and pull up the secondary vocal. And I, again, for the second vocal, I'm going to go ahead and make it kind of a grittier, kind of a lower end. So I'm going to I'm going to enhance the lower end and add a little grit to it. So let me go ahead and add an F6 to that. Let's take a peek at what it's doing here. Let me go ahead and uh, just pull up just the vocal. What do you love? Is it time? So this is the same print as the, as the other vocal starting from the beginning. So uh, so the, the vocal uh, curve or the, the EQ curve is still showing the same as on the other. So let's go ahead and tweak it to bring in a little bit more of the low. End. What do you love? Is it time with the family or time at the beach or just wasting time? Whatever you love, Sandals Resorts has it available in abundance. What do you love? Is it time with the family or time at the beach? or just wasting time. Whatever you love, Sandals Resorts has it available in abundance. What do you love? Is it time with the family? Okay, so as you can tell, I, I've enhanced the low end and pulled down some of the high end. So they call it a high pass filter and a low pass filter. Uh, the high pass filter is the low end. It's it's passing the, the high end. It's adding more to the low end. The low pass filter is on the high end side and you're actually pulling it down so it passes more to the low end. Um, so I've got this and it, I'm, I'm again trying to not overdo it in any way, shape or form in any of the frequencies. So, but I have enhanced the low frequencies a bit. What do you love? Let's solo this and sound with no music. What do you love? Is it time with the family 
or time at the beach, the curve is or just wasting on the, time. On, on the left -hand side Whatever the you screen, love, which is the, Sandals the Resorts has... Okay, so now that we've got that, let me go ahead and add a bit of grit to this, okay? Now, the way I do that is I actually use another Waves uh, utility called the Aphex Vintage Exciter, okay? Now, uh, this is a vintage oral exciter. This is something back in the 80s I... I was so I I would have died to have one of these in my hands in the 80s when I was a younger fella. I couldn't afford it. I had some other tools that I used instead. This would have been like the tool to have. I've got the recreation, which is a incredible recreation of the exact tool from the 80s that is amazing of what it can do for vocals. Let's watch what it'll do here. Let me get a drink. Okay, let's hear it. What do you love? Automatically, you can hear that filter, that comb filter that, that this is putting in. Let me bypass it. See, what do you love? And put it in. Is it time with the family? So that are automatically adds a bit of grit. Now, that's not quite the sound I'm looking for. So uh, I will I'll kind of, let me let me filter through some of the, uh, um, some of the presets here. Let's uh, go to vocals. I want a warming male vocal. Let's see what that does. What do you love? Is it time with the family or time at the beach? or just wasting time. I like that. Whatever you love, Sandals Resorts has it available in abundance. What, what do you love? Here it is in bypass. Is it time with the family? Here it is in Or place. time at the beach? Or just wasting time? I'm at a bit more Whatever you love, Sandals Resorts has it available in abundance. What do you love? So do you hear Is it time with the so to hear it adds a bit of grit. It adds a bit of uh, you know kind of a growl to it almost. I like that when I'm when I'm putting it in my low end and when I when I mix it in, I'm not going to have it up to the same uh, gain uh, level gain stage as, as the primary vocal, but I'll add it in just for flavor, just to give it that mm, that bit of a growl here. So let me go ahead and put the two together. Show you what I mean here. What do you love? Is it time with the family, or time at the beach, or just wasting time? Whatever you love. Sandals Resorts has it available in abundance. What do you love? Is it time with the family? Or time so as you can tell, I, I'm, I'm lowering the gain, the volume on uh, the secondary low-end vocal with the growl in it and, and just, just pulling it up just slightly enough so you can get the feel in there. I'm not wanting to overdo it. Now, this is something, again, I have to flavor it. Right now, I'm just kind of getting a, a, you know, a general range for it. As we move forward, I'm going to fine-tune it and make sure it's good. So let's listen to it one more time. What do you love? Is it time with the family? And here it is muted, uh, just the primary vocal. What do you love? Let me add in the second. Is it time with the family or time at the beach? It adds a bit of um, analog growl. That's the only way to put it. It really brings an analog deepness to it, right? So I may even go back and uh, tweak the EQ a little bit more later. Kind of depends on, on how I'm, my overall sound is going when I start blending it and mixing it into the, to the, the overall mix. So let's go to... Uh, the, the third vocal, which is the, I'm going to put a high sheen on this one. So let's go ahead and add F6 to that as well. And the analysis. What do you love? Look exactly the same is as it the time vocal. with the family I'll pull or time at the beach the a little or bit. just wasting time? So that's good. Whatever you love. On this one. Sandal I'm going to I'm going to drop even pull back even more of the low end. You know, typically I go somewhere between 60 and 100 hertz on on the others. I'm gonna, I'm going to drop it up to a little bit over 100 hertz. So I'm cutting out that low end. I, I'm I'm pulling out that the entire bottom of the low end there. Let's hear it sound. What do you love? See it automatically. Is it time with the family? Automatically you can hear the high end. Let me bypass it. What do you love? Is it time with the family? Now listen. Or time at the beach? Or just wasting time? Whatever you love, Sandals Resorts has it available in abundance. Okay, I didn't quite want that much low end taken out, so I pulled it back just a little, but I'm already liking what I hear, I'm hearing here in the fact that I'm using this as an additive, not the primary vocal. This is just added to the primary. So I've got a good EQ, I think. Now on, on this, I'm going to go ahead and, and add in a little bit more sheen by adding a, a little bit of reverb to it, right? So let me find which reverb I want to use on this. Okay, so the reverb I, ch I chose to go with is actually the Solid State Logic reverb. It's a, the Oxford England uh, reverb, which is an incredible re reverb tool. Now, on this, I only want a little bit. I don't want to go crazy. So let's hear what the, what the default is. What do you love? Obviously, that's showing a lot. So I'm going to go ahead and immediately pull back the wetness on that. What do you love? Still too much. What do you love? That's, that's uh, getting close. What do you love? What do you love? What do you love? Is it time with the family 
or time at the beach. So really, it, it, you can tell that it immediately, you don't need a whole lot. You can tell. Uh, let's, there's a, some other great tools on this uh, plugin that, that are awesome to have. You can adjust the frequencies of uh, what the reverb tails are giving you. Is it, do you want it a little lower and a little higher? And so let's watch the EQ curve on the Oxford plugin. What do you love? Is it time with the family? Or time at the beach? Or just wasting time? Whatever you love. Sandals Resorts has it available in abundance. What do you love? Is it time with the family or time at the beach? So there you go. I actually adjusted the, the reverb a little bit to, again, match the EQ curve that I was trying to get out of the, the EQ on the on this third vocal anyway. So the reverb is matching that as well. Uh, it's just a tiny bit of, of reverb in the mix. Plus, I'm only going to pull this this third vocal up just slightly in the mix. Let's go ahead and do that now. I'm going to go ahead and pull up all three. Let's go ahead and unmute that and mute the music. Now, these are all three vocals mixed together, and I need to get them a, a, a solid level mix, a balance between the three. What do you love? Is it time with the family or time at the beach or just wasting time? Whatever you love, Sandals Resorts has it available in abundance. What do you love? Is it time with... So let me mute, mute the other two vocals and just show you the primary vocal and show you the difference when I bring them in. So here's, here's the two muted. What do you love? Is it time with the family or time at the beach? Not a bad sound. Let's go ahead and bring in the low. What do you love? Is it time with... Notice immediately it already gave it a little bit of an additional punch into it. Okay, now let me pull up just the high and, and the primary. What do you love? Is it time with the family? Or time at the beach. Now notice, uh, I'm keeping it at a very low level. It's almost just a, just a feel that there's something tingling in in an echo, you know, just slightly. I don't want it to be noticeable. But this is again soloing the the vocal. When we bring in the music, I may adjust them a little bit more as we go there too. So let me go ahead and bring them all three together. What do you love? Is it time with the family, or time at the beach, or just wasting time? Whatever you love, Sandals Resorts has it available in abundance. What? Okay, so there I've got the vocal mix going, I think, at a, at a nice level. Now, this may change, right? Because I'm only in the very early stages of the final mix here. Let's go ahead and bring in the music, uh, bring in the music bed, and see how my mix at this point sounds with the music. What do you love? Is it time with the family or time with the... Let me point out a couple of quick things already here. You notice that my vocals have more presence, not necessarily more gain, which there, there is, don't get me wrong. There is a bit more volume to these, but they just have a better presence already. They're, they're fitting into the mix. They're, they're, they have their own little niche in, 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 in where they, their own little slot into where they're falling. It, so much so that I'm ready to bring the music back up. But there's one thing that I want to do at this point that I haven't done yet, and that is add a master track. So down here at the lower left-hand corner, I'm going to create a new track, and it's going to be a stereo track, and it's going to be a master fader. Why am I doing this? Because now, especially now, and you can do this at any time during when you bring this up, I usually have a template that I use for this, but I'm running through this just so you can see every step of the process. For the master fader, you need to know what your overall levels are, what your final levels are that are going out to print, right? You want to know what those are. That's a good reason why you need to start with your master fader early on as possible, but especially now when you're starting getting close to your final mix. So there, I've created a master fader, and now if you watch, you'll, you'll actually see the levels down here show you what your, what your overall output levels are. Let's watch. What do you love? Is it time with the family or time at the beach? or just wasting time. Whatever you love, Sandals Resorts has it available in abundance. So as you can see, I'm, I'm not really hitting in any red yet. I'm, I'm, I'm probably at about a, a six to, to, I'm pushing up to, to a negative three close, but not quite there yet. So um, what I'll probably do here is 
generally what I would do is I was I would actually put all of my vocals in th through to a uh, to the to their own bus right and and run it all via one bus I'm gonna keep it a little bit simpler than that here so I don't get you confused on the routing and 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 how you know the, the over the, the the complex routing that you can really put into play here that is extremely good and extremely essential when you're doing massive uh, you know mixes but with this I'm gonna keep it a little bit simpler and just keep my levels and my my, uh, my mixing at the track level so I'm gonna go ahead and pull down down the primary vocal just a tad and, and the secondary vocals just a tad and bring up the music bed because I have some room. I have some headroom here. So I'm going to bring it up. Now let's listen and I'll adjust as we move along as well. What do you love? Is it time with the family or time at the beach or just wasting time? Whatever you love, Sandals Resorts has it available in abundance. Okay, I noticed a few things there. That the my music at the beginning is 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 really uh, almost mixing perfectly with the rest of the the voiceover itself. Uh, near the end, though, when the music picks up and kicks in, it's a little too high. So I'll probably have to put some automation in place later to bring uh, the the uh, end vocal down and make sure that the that the um, that the, the end voiceover stays high in the mix. So one thing I'm noticing here as well is that my uh, my voiceover uh, needs, uh, quite honestly, it needs some compression put on it. Not a lot, just a very tiny bit. So what I'm going to do is, I'm, again, I'm going to keep it at the individual track level. Usually I would work these through their own buses and uh, have uh, you know additional um, um, individual faders or, or uh, what do you call it, a primary fader set up. I can't remember what to call them right now, so my apologies, but you actually can create a master fader for each uh, a, a bundle of tracks. I can't think of the name. You'll you'll I'll, I'll figure it out later. So again, I'm keeping it at the track level to keep it simple. So I'm going to go ahead and add in a individual each individual track is going to get its own uh, compression, which I'm, I'm actually going to use the uh, SSL uh, compressor. This is an incredible, this is a Waves tool, and this is the master bus compressor that you would get on on the an SSL in <laughs> like hundreds of thousands of dollars board. This, this is an incredible tool. So let me let me solo this uh, uh, right here. Let me go ahead and. Uh... What do you love? Is it time with the family? So the d the default compressor is really not doing a whole lot right there. I'm going to actually probably leave it there for the moment and see how it works. Let me go ahead and add them into the rest of these as well. If you click um, option. And, and drag, you can actually uh, create an exact duplicate of, of that one for the next tracks there. So let's see how they sound now. Let me solo them all together. What do you love? Is it time with the family? The key here when you start any compression, you want to make sure that you don't start introducing some type of distortion or clipping. It's easy to do. You want to make sure you don't do that. So the, the best way is to, to you know, watch your meters. Okay. What do you love? Right, it's already is it time with the family so I'm pull or it down. time at the beach oh, it's okay. or just wasting it's time? More there, so I'm pull Whatever you love, Sandals is... Resorts has it available in abundance. Want... What do you love? Don't want to do a whole is it impression. time with the family so I'm... or time at the beach Increasing or the just there. wasting time? Whatever you love. Sandals Resorts has it available in abundance. So there you go. I, again, I, I just want to do just the tiniest bit of compression that's just going to keep those levels out just musically. It really, that's the best way to describe it. I want to, to level them out musically. Let's, let's hear it overall with the music. What do you love? Is it time with the family or time at the beach or just wasting time? Whatever you love. Sandals Resorts has it available in abundance. So it's really starting to sound good here. I'm really getting a, a, to dig this sound. One other thing I'm going to do before I, I have to take a quick break here is I'm going to add in a couple of plugins into the master channel. I try very, very carefully to not do this. Uh, I want to I be as gentle as possible when I do this. The first thing I'm going to add is another uh, M, uh, F6 uh, EQ analyzer. This way I can analyze the entire output, right? What do you love? Is it time with the family or time at the beach or just wasting time? I ain't hating that. I also want to add in a, uh, again, a very gently add in the SSL compressor here. 
And this is, the, this is a true master bus compressor at this point, obviously. What do you love? That's, that's doing a lot. I don't want that. I can actually hear it in my headphones. You can actually, your ears start to feel like there's, there's something happening. So I'm going to pull down the threshold quite a bit. What do you love? Is it time with the family? Or time at the beach? Or just wasting time? Whatever you love, Sandals Resorts has it available in abundance. What do you love? So I did a couple of things there. I, I increased the threshold and the attack so that, you know, and I'm actually going to pull it down to a two to one ratio. Let's see what that does. What do you love? Is it time with the family or time at the beach? And I adjusted the makeup gain. Let me bypass it and show you. What do you love? Is it time with the family or time at the beach or just wasting time? Whatever you love. So on the makeup uh, uh, utility right there, uh, that's the one that you want to use to make sure that you can keep the levels when, when you're on and off uh, that, that they match. You know, you don't want it to come in and increase the level too much and you don't want it to decrease the level too much. Uh, and then the attack and the ratios, those are the ones that you want to use to make sure that you're not overdoing it, right? You, you, uh, you The attack, you, you I, I don't want it to attack until it's, uh, you know, up to up to the 10 decibel level. I don't want it, my threshold is going to be the, the plus 15, 14 almost, you know, so I'm, it's a very gentle compression here. I'm really not doing a whole lot. Let's listen again. What do you love? Is it time with the family? Okay, my ears already feel better. You don't hear that hiss. You don't hear the 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 push. You know the the thump that is trying to get out of it. I don't want that. I want to keep it musical. And then there's one other thing I'm going to add in here, and that is, and this is again gentle, 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 gentle. What do you love? Is it time with the fan? See, I'm already put. I'm sorry. I'm checking my meter at my top screen here, there, and I'm actually seeing. I'm I'm pushing an overall level that's already nearing three decibels. So I want to be careful on my compression, but I, I do want to add in uh, the, this incredible Waves Ultra Maximizer. This is a, a leveling tool uh, that is just incredible, okay? I'm going to go ahead and set this to a 3.2. What do you love? Is it time with the family or time at the beach or just wasting time? Whatever you love, Sandals Resorts has it available in abundance. What do you love? Is it time with the family or time at the beach or just wasting time? Whatever you love, Sandals Resorts has it available in abundance. So what the, the, this leveler does there, actually, since I've put it on the master bus, it's actually taking uh, all the sound and it's, you know, of course, analyzing it, but it's taking the, the mix between the music and the vocals and, and the voiceover, the music and the voiceover, because that's all I have is voiceover. And it's it's leveling them out to an extent. It's taking them and it's it's allowing them to not compete with each other. It's kind of taking, I mean, you guys, if you understand what a leveler is, I'm trying to keep it simple here. If you know what a leveler is, you know even more than, than I'm explaining here, I guarantee it. But generally speaking, what it does, it actually, it, it puts a glue in the mix, man. It, that, that SSL comp puts a glue in the mix. And then this this uh, L3 Ultra, Ultra Maximizer. What the, the one on the right, this is your out ceiling. This is, I put it at a 3.0 two because I don't want it to go above negative three, right? I, I may add some more later. It depends. Right now, I'm kind of keeping it easy. I, I did a, a AB bypass on it, you know, bypassed it and turned it on because I don't want it to over compress itself either because this is in essence a compressor as well. I want the input signal and the output signal to be nearly the same as far as volume, as far as gain goes. So let me, let me show you one more time. This is what do you love? Is it time with the family? or time at the beach, or just wasting time. Whatever you love, Sandals Res So again, it kind of brings an overall, mm, just it, it like glues it all together, pulls it in and, and enhances and, and and just does the right parts. It's a really incredible tool. But let me, let me listen to it one more time before I step away. What do you love? Is it time with the family, or time at the beach, or just wasting time? Whatever you love, Sandals Resorts has it available in abundance. What do you love? Is it time with the family or time at the beach or just wasting time? Whatever you love, Sandals Resorts has it available in abundance. Okay. 
I'm enjoying this. Uh, right now, I'm going to take a quick break here. I'll come back and we will finish the mix and we're going to add in some special, more special sauce. This isn't it, right? Okay, this is just the overall music bed and, and the vocal, right? Which is great. But the really, really good demos, you add in special effects, right? I'm going to add in some additional sounds that, you know what, I'm not going to tell you all about right now, but you're going to enjoy it when we get there. Come back. We'll talk to you soon. Okay, when I left you last, okay, I went ahead and did a couple of things uh, and added in some things here uh, while, while I was taking a quick break. Uh, so what, what I've done here is, um, I, what I, so I mentioned that there were a few other things that I needed to add in, right? Uh, th those things are sound effects, special effects, things that are going to enhance the recording to a higher performance. If you think of the entire demo as a production, as a scene from a movie, and each different part has its own uh, you know, own visual, it's, its own audio, its own visual, and, and then, of course, its own sound effects. Uh, that, that helps you to understand what you need to do with the demo. It's, it's just like putting together a movie. In many regards, it's, it's a mini movie, typically without the visuals, although we can do visuals too, which is something I'll add in later uh, for, for my entire video uh, demo clip. But for this, there, there are certain parts of the, of the script that called for extra sounds, for extra uh, uh, effects, for extra things, right? Typically, those things are nonverbal, meaning that they could be they could be sounds, uh, they could be you know laughter, they could be uh, you know uh, uh, sounds of the environment. But there, for this one particularly, there was a, a portion that I uh, felt needed something that actually had verbal some some words to it. And you'll see it in just a second. Now, where I go to look for my special effects, I, I have a, a few places for that. I have numerous uh, libraries that I've uh, amassed myself over the years. Uh, certain ones that I've found, I've, I've purchased, and I've, I've, uh, they come with certain uh, software. And I, I keep all those together because each one has its own unique possibility. Uh, there are a few websites that I don't mind going to. There's freesound.org. Uh, there's a, the BBC Sound Project. In fact, let me pull that one up because let me see if I still have that website up. Uh, let, let me find it here. Because this one is is incredible. It's the BBC Sound Effects Research. Uh, this is a free place that you can go to and and download and use the sound effects as long as you're not using them to resell. Now, if you're doing a demo, you're not reselling that portion of the demo. You're, you're packaging the whole demo and you're, you're reselling something completely different. So you can use these for this. And it's just amazing what they have out here. I mean, they, they have, you know... Uh, just tons, 16,000 sound effects from the BBC Sound Studios. Just amazing. So I strongly urge you to, re uh, to, to go look and uh, research that. So what have I done? Let me go ahead and play the demo back from the start and see if you can pick out the parts. What do you love? Is it time with the family or time at the beach or just wasting time? Whatever you love, Sandals Resort. Did you catch them? Of course you did. Uh, they are uh, the sounds with the family, the sounds at the beach, and the sounds of just wasting time, right? Which I chose uh, Gone with the Wind. It's the portion from Gone with the Wind where Rhett Butler says, frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn, right? So check them out. I'll, I'll go ahead and go straight to them here. Is it time with the family or time at the beach or just wasting time? Frankly, my dear, I don't Whatever you love. Sandals. Now, in the same way, that the music and the the voiceover itself you you had you really got to work on the timing of all these things it's just as important if not more important to make sure your sound effects are right in time they are queued up ready to go at the perfect time fade in and fade out at cor the correct times so that it doesn't interfere with the rest of the voiceover but it's highlighted and pushed up just at the, at the right time for it to impact the demo. Let me play it again and you can hear the family. Is it time with the family or time? With the, the laughter fades in right, right at the right point. Is it time with the family or right? Now let's hear time at the beach. Time at the beach. Or now you can hear the family portion fade out just as the beach portion fades in. Time at the beach or just wait. 
See, and, and it, they, they fade, blend right into one another. Time at the beach. Or just wasting time. And if you listen closely, I have it at a very low volume, but the, the part where uh, Scarlett O'Hara is actually saying, Rhett, what should I do, is coming in at, it, under the screams of the beach. Listen closely. Time at the beach. Or just... Let me, let me solo those so you hear them. Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. Having them in place, having them in time, having them fade in and out and... and and push up through just at the right moments is critical to making sure that it, it fits for one, but that it adds the flavor you're looking for. Let's just do it one more time. Is it time with the family or time at the beach or just wasting time? Frankly, my dear, Whatever you love. So with those added in, with those final pieces, those final effects pieces that I've added in, I'm, I'm feeling really confident that this is a final voiceover demo. Let me listen to it one more time with everything. What do you love? Is it time with the family? Or time at the beach? Or just wasting time? Frankly, my dear, Whatever you love, Sandals Resorts has it available in abundance. So there you have it. That's how you produce a voiceover demo. That's how you get the pieces put together. That's how you find the right vocal performance. That's how you mix it and balance it between the music and the voiceover. And that's how you add those special little tweaks, those special effects at just the right time to, to throw in the maximum impact in, into the final production, the final scene of the, of the little movie that you're creating here. To actually finalize the demo, there are a few more things I'm going to do. I'm going to go through and fine tune the equalization on this. Make sure that it really is uh, exactly the 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 the, uh, the template, the, the the EQ curve that I'm looking for. The only way to do this is to listen to it on multiple different types of, of settings, of monitors. Uh, I, of course, had my headphones here. I have my JBL monitors that you can't see that, that are right here in front of me. Um, I also will also, I'll download it to my phone, listen to it on the phone itself, uh, live, listen to it through my earbuds. I'll listen to it in my car. Uh, I, I try multiple different, uh, you know, situations and scenarios of speakers that could be used for, for that will be listened to for, for the demo and make sure that it is uh, reproducing properly into those areas. And to make sure that is, is doing correctly, I'll make sure that the EQ is set properly. I'll make sure that the balances are set properly, that the different levels, that's always a major check that you have to do before you call it complete. Uh, it, and you never know until you get it in, into another environment if it's exactly right. Now, I'm, I'm not going to record that. I'm not going to video that showing me doing that. But that is definitely a step that you have to take in order to make sure that it is done. So let me play it back one more time. My final demo, complete to, to the point that uh, it, I'm doing a little bit of, of additional finalization, but to the point that it's done and for what our purposes are here. Here we go. What do you love? Is it time with the family or time at the beach or just wasting time? Frankly, my dear, Whatever you love, Sandals Resorts has it available in abundance. When I choose my music, I usually go to something like Pond5 or uh, there's a bunch of others out there, too, where you can go and get royalty free music uh, that you can use in any of your demos. Uh, so today we're doing a sandals resort, right? So uh, I'm, I search on beach, right? If you look up in the upper left hand corner, there's beach. So, uh, for this, um, I go through and, you know, kind of review a few of them first off, get a feel about what they're doing here and, you know, listen to the, listen to the song and try to get the vibe of what I'm wanting to do for the video. So I know that it's kind of a chill family weekend or, you know, just uh, finding ways to chill out. So I'm looking for a song that kind of chills as well. And what I found was uh, one called Off to the Beach and I like a certain portion of it only. So let me, let me play the portion I like. Pond five. So you see how I like it uh, has the chill, you know, beginning is kind of a relaxed sound and then it kind of go, goes into a really super fun sound uh, that makes it feel good, you know. So that's the one I'm going to use. <laughs> 